You don't have the right to ban celebration of Salah festivals. The Canon State Governor Government replies Commissioner of Police. Nigerians. The Kanu State Government have stated that the Kanu Police Commissioner lacks the authority to ban the celebration of Salah Festival in Kanu. In a statement released by Kanu State Commissioner of Justice, the Commissioner pointed out that the Commissioner of Police has repeatedly failed to follow the Governor's lawful directives as a Chief Security Officer claiming to be acting on higher authority. He said, I am compelled to ask the question who is uh, prizing the authority of the Commander-in-Chief because some people additional directives to security chiefs in the state, so much so that the state police commissioner, without any consultation with the chief security officer, of the state or approval from the state security council had issued an order banning Ide Kabir festivals in the current state. How can anybody in his right sense ban Salah festivals in Kano? And when did the state governor seek to be the chief security officer of the state that he will only see such ban on social media? Who is pushing the state commission of police? to upsage the authority of the governor. The importance to stress that the Commission of Police has been consistent in disobeying the legitimate instructions of the governor as chief security officer, hiding behind orders from above. I ask again, what is the offense of Kano people that the Nigerian police penciled them for destruction? Nigerians, as you can see, it seems that the crisis in Kanu State will not end soon. The Kanu State Governor has expressed concerns over how the police com command in the state has been disobeying the legitimate instructions of Governor Abba Yusuf, the Chief Security Officer of the state. Speaking at a press conference at the Government House Kanu on Saturday, the Attorney General and the Commission of Justice, Haruna, said, I am compelled to ask the question, who is of spreading, please pardon me, who is usurping the authority of the Commander-in-Chief? And the, because some people are dishing out directive to security chiefs in the state, so much so that the State Police Commissioner without any consultation with the chief security officer of the state or approval from the state security council had issued an order banning Ide Kabiri festivals in Kanun State. How can anybody in his right sense ban Salah festivals in Kanun? When did the state governor seek to be the chief security officer of the state that he will only see such ban on social media? Who is pushing the state commissioner of police to switch the authority of the governor? Is it important to stress that the commissioner of police has been consistent in disobeying the legitimate instructions of the governor as the chief security officer, hiding behind orders from above? I ask again, what is the offense of Kanu people that the Nigerian police penciled them for destruction. According to Daily Trust, the Dere were responding to the Federal High Court judgment that upheld the fundamental rights of the 15th Emir of Kano, Aminu Adobayaro, said the dethroned monarch's rights had not been infringed upon by the government. He said the Federal High Court uh, number three, Kano, had passed judgment in respect of the matter before it were. It held that certain fundamental rights of the deposed Emir was infringed upon, including putting him under house arrest. We are mindful of the fact whatever judgment is pronounced by 
a court of law, any party that is dissatisfied has the option of appealing against the judgment. Indeed, our team of lawyers is critically studying the judgment of that court with a view to appealing against it. This is because, in our view, no fundamental right of the former emir was infringed. First, no one forced him into Gidan Nasserowa belonging to the government of Kanu State. He was, in, he was in there and stayed there on his own. Valuation accompanied by, uh, uh, accompanied by security guards. They, therefore, no one put him under his arrest. Secondly, it is known by anyone that the executive governor of the state is the chief security officer of the state. He has a constitutional duty to ensure the protection of lives and properties of the people of Kanu State. When the former emir came in, accompanied by the hoodlums, clearly threatening the peace and other lineage of the state, the governor was under a duty to act to ensure peace, and that, and that was why he issued the arrest order. Even then, the arrest was neither affected by any of the security agencies in the state till now. The former emir has been conducting his activities there as evidenced by the numerous social media presentations. It will, it will be recorded that some days ago, the police announced a ban on Dubara activities during the upcoming Ide Kabiri festivals. A statement issued by the police spokesman in the state, Adulai Haruna, said the combined security agencies are for the purpose of overriding public safety, not expecting cultural uh, uh, troops, costumes, weapons, wedding, or any form of uh, uh, representing to buy from any of the traditionals to contenders. In addition, all other law-abiding people of the state are urged to continue to cooperate with the police and alongside other relevant security agencies as adequate security deployments have been concluded to ensure low-key, heart-free festival Hide Kabiri celebrations during, trying, during this trying period. Me, I don't talk and say, I see these politicians, now they go use their hands, eh? Take set this Nigeria ablaze. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.